Oh, hello, folks. How you doing today? Uncle Downer, you can certainly just gently press the like button. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You folks are great. I uh I don't know. It's uh it's been interesting. Uh you know, not not talking a whole lot of uh politics. Um uh, you know, I, I uh I still do. It's just, you know, not here on um YouTube. Mm. But anyways, it's, it is what it is, folks. It just is what it is. Um, I'm going to share some more of my work with you today. I'm going to give you a schedule for some upcoming shows if you want to come see me. Um, I'd love to see you. Um, I really do. I love all you people. And uh, I love people. So, hi, Shannon. And uh, I see there's a few people uh, signing on. So, uh, I'm sure this won't be quite as uh, large as some of the other subjects I cover, but uh, it is what it is. I actually enjoy talking about this stuff uh, quite a bit. Uh, I really do because I I find, well, it's more peaceful. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, yeah, I've just been uh, posting my other stuff to, to locals uh, for now. Obviously, it... Uh, you know, that's, that's what is. Um, so I, I, I have been doing that. Um, but on, on this, I did, you know, I did, I kind of, <laughs> thanks. You know, on constitution bed, somebody was giving me grief and they said, Oh, you trim that beard. And I was looking at him going, man, I really do. I do need to trim that beard. So I, I trimmed it up. See that? Look at that, huh? You can see more of my smiling face. Makes me look younger, I've heard. Anyway, it's, it's all good. But uh, yes, so I did shave here. I'm going to switch this banner out. Um, for those who don't know, uh, you know, this is my main income does come from uh, photography and videography. So I do have another channel, uh, Fearless Photography Guys. Uh, please go over and check that out. And if you like it, subscribe. If it's not your cup of tea, that's totally fine. All right. But. Um, I just want to get that out there because uh, uh, there's there's good stuff there, especially if you're looking for like instructional videos on photography and whatnot. So, um, anyways, can I borrow your shaver? Oh gosh. Anyways, but hey, I've got some great art shows coming up, and I want to share some art. Uh, please smash that like if you haven't already, folks. Um, share it with uh, like-minded folks, but uh, here we go. I'm going to just uh, get right into it. Oh, hey, I want to do one other thing, uh, and that is get this playing in the background, just the comment stream so I can pin comments. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks, Tammy. And uh, <laughs> Constitution Vet, that's classic. Oh, gosh. Anyways, um, yeah, thanks. Uh, so the, um, let's see here. I got to share the screen. I will share the screen. I will show you some of my art. I will be in Grand Forks, North Dakota this weekend uh, at the Art on the Red. And it's it's uh, my first real show this season. I did the New Richmond show, but New Richmond is kind of, uh, um, hey, thanks, Tammy. Um, hey, yeah, stay strong there in Michigan. I mean, ah. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I'm not going to talk about it. Anyways, I did uh, I did a, a a phenomenal report over on locals today. If you want to go check that out, but uh, here we got a oh, where's the share screen thing now? God night. All right, here we go. I'm getting distracted again. All right, share screen. Let's go uh, here to okay. That's okay, and here we go. So some of you have probably seen this picture because I shared this on the community uh, tab of my um, main channel before. Uh, but it's uh, it's a barn by Meadowlands, uh, Minnesota. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks, Tammy. Um, and if you don't know uh, Meadowlands, it's uh, it's it's kind of it's in the hinterlands, folks. I'm going to just shrink this down on my side just a little. Give me a sec. Because I can't see your comments. It's the one thing here. Oh, come on. Hold on a sec. I want to see your comments. Okay, there we go. And 
I don't know why that's on there there and there okay so this one is barn by Meadowlands. I got this uh, just before church. Barns are probably my favorite subject. I'm actually working on a Barnes book. Don't ask me when it's going to come out because I have absolutely no idea. Because every time I think it's coming out, uh, you know, there's there's challenges and uh, yeah, there's some of them uh, deal with uh, trying to get my information out. But um, thanks, thanks, Doug. So here I'll I'll show you something else. I, I did share this one too. People really like this. Somebody called me out on this this photo. They're like, ah, it's just like fakey. And another guy was, um, no, that's just all uh, Photoshop. It's actually not, folks. This this photo I took with a um, um, Astro modified camera. And white balance is completely different. They removed the uh, some of the filters on there. And so it does, it allows you to see deep space colors a little better. And it does give you a different color spectrum. Now, I may not have had the white balance totally correct on this. I don't know, but I like the photo, so I'm keeping it. Okay, I like it just how it is. Uh, so, you know, the, the haters can just go hate on someone else because I'm just doing what I'm doing. Um, so that's that. Anyways, but this is in the Boundary Waters of Minnesota. Uh, this was on Ensign Lake. And if you guys haven't been to the Boundary Waters, I know I talk about it all the time. You got to go, you got to go, you got to go. But that's because I actually do believe you should go to the Boundary Waters, okay? There are no roads. There is, there's, there's no motors. There's no anything, folks. You just go in there and you get to see stuff like that. Thank you, Tammy. Um, and if you look over here, and I is that showing up on there now? Here, I can't. I can't. Okay, good, good. Okay, watch this. Watch this. I'll show you something really cool. I, for those who don't follow... Milky Way stuff. This right here that I'm on, do you see this? This is a horse head, and then the horse is on its side, and you can see it, and that's called the prancing horse. That's part of the Milky Way nebula, okay? Uh, hey, thanks, Doug. But so you see that? There it is. So there's the, uh, yeah, throw in some comments, uh, please, just to, it'll kind of increase the, the algorithmic uh, play of this. Throw in some comments, and just make sure you smash the like. Thank you. We want to share it, but here's the thing. So this is the head of the horse. You can see it's kind of like a prancing, and then the back leg of the horse. Do y'all see that? So that's the the prancing horse of the Milky Way Nebula. Anyways, I did uh, uh, light the ground up, as you can tell here in front. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see the ground at all. So when you're doing night sky photography, you open the shutter for like 15 seconds, and you can see a little bit of detail in foreground, but very minimal. So what I did is I've got a low level LED light and I just sweep that LED light and I pull it into me. It's called light painting. Thank you, Alan West. Thank you, Melissa. You guys are great. You're always so encouraging. Thank you. Um, you know, life can be really hard sometimes and we just, we need encouragement. So, um, and, and I'm not speaking just to censorship, just in general, things can come up, but this, uh, um, you know, so I just use this low level LED light. It's kind of small and I just sweep that light. And then the, uh, because the shutter is open for 15 seconds, you don't need much light and you just pull that in. Okay. So anyways, but that's, uh, the boundary water. I'm going to show you another one for the boundary waters. So this is the boundary waters as well. And this is also on Ensign Lake. Ensign Lake, if you've ever thought of going to the boundary waters is great for kids because you can actually get a tow on the motorized route, get dropped and then be one portage away from getting in. Actually, it's two portages. I'm sorry. Two portages away. Well, one portage, you're into the non-motorized. Two portages away from Ensign Lake, and you can see this. So, um, you know, I don't, Doug, use colored filters, uh, color filters. Not that I'd be opposed to it. I I, uh, um, I would I would like that. Um, uh, the... You know, I just, I just haven't. I, I, I think they can be really cool for effect. I've used in uh, uh, zero light pollution. Wow. Uh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, the prancing horse is cool. But this, uh, you know, filters can provide a neat effect. I've used blue light in video to like kind of make product more sexy, if you will. Uh, so I've done that. Uh, so I like, I like the effect that filters or light can bring. But I tend to, so often I'm shooting, uh, yeah, I'm going to post this one up. Maybe I'll have to get out there to the Adirondacks. Um, but uh, 
this uh um yeah um there i just could put that some color effects are cool but typically i'm trying to do like naturally what i'm seeing so when i edit a photo i'm trying to get it back to kind of what my eye saw uh and it's hard you know because your camera just is so limited but but by doing this um you know like in here on the right side of the image over here so this stuff isn't showing up to get the the sun in there you know that's not showing up so i have to actually paint uh some exposure into here so uh that's what i do to to bring that out and I, i'll do some uh live edits over on that fearless photography guys channel so you know if you want to see how to edit a photo and you're interested in that feel free to go over there but i will be displaying all this work that you see here i will be displaying in grand forks north dakota this weekend the following weekend for those in south dakota i don't family in south dakota but aberdeen south dakota i'll be there and then i'll be back in longville minnesota so that's my next three weekends so just so you know um you know melissa that's a great idea i should have done some calendars this year um Maybe I still can. I I, uh, I wanted to do a Barnes calendar. Then I got going on this YouTube journey. And then I got covering politics. And everything kind of fell by the wayside, to be perfectly honest. I really had an idea to get that done. Everything takes time to do. I actually uh, had to switch suppliers yesterday on my canvases. Um, and so when I that that took a, a full morning because you got to talk to him, you got to match color profiles. It's a whole thing. Um, but um, anyhow, you can I you know if you if you really like uh, uh, photography of lakes and stuff, my resorts of Minnesota book, which is available on the nljbooks.com website, has a lot of lake imagery. In fact, if you give me one second, folks, I will I'll be right back. So just hold for me for one second. I'm going to show you something. Thank you for your patience. It even grew. <laughs> Look at that. You guys are the best. So if you can see this well, this is my Resorts of Minnesota book. Okay. Um, so you can see you know, Neil Johnson. I write my own books. Okay. And then this is my Resorts of Wisconsin book. And that one I co-authored with a guy by the name of Adam Swenson so I could do more photography. But the, the resorts in Minnesota and Wisconsin, there's really no place else like it, folks, because nobody else has as many lakes. Um, you know, Minnesota, they say land of 10,000 lakes. There's actually uh, closer to like 15,000 lakes in Minnesota and 15,000 lakes in Wisconsin. So uh, anyways, but they, they're full of great stories. If you like history, they're historical stories, um, you know, but then they're just all full of pictures. So it's, it's uh, 75,000 words of text, but a lot of it's photos of lakes and lake scenes and cabins and uh, oh, cool, Doug. Yeah, the Navy. My dad was in the Navy. So remember when we did that live stream on Memorial Day? Oh, gosh, that was great. I mean, it was just it was good to do. Um, um, yeah, thanks, Alan. Um, oh, Castle Rock Lake in Wisconsin, Melissa. Beautiful lake. Yeah, there's some there's some resorts there over on Castle Rock, too. So um, but yeah. Um, Anyways, so those books are available. I'll just put this up here if you if you have interest in it. Uh, and let's see, uh, nljbooks.com is, is where you go for those. My wife wrote uh, two children's books. She's an amazing storyteller, folks. Uh, her writing is beautiful. You will not be able to read her books without crying. And I, I'm not even, you know, so they are children's books. But as the adult reading them, you will cry. Uh, they are very, very good. Um, so let's go on here. So this this is Ensign Lake, and I got the the sunset with the canoe there. This was the one I used for my um, yeah picture to announce the stream. But this is uh, on Lake Superior. It's at a place called Siskiwet Bay Lodge. I wrote about them in the Resorts of Wisconsin book. That is looking to the north shore of Minnesota off Lake Superior. 
Uh, it's a fall sunset, so you have the light breaking in from the side here because the sun is moving into the southern hemisphere. So although you're looking west, the sun's coming in from the southwest. And then it gives you these beautiful highlights on these chairs. Those are just things. Side light's the best light, folks. And as a photographer, you're just always looking for that. How it lights up the deck here, gets these highlights on the chair arms, and it just draws you in. It's it's like peace, and you want to be there. So that's actually been my number one selling photo of all time. Um, it's uh, I call it uh, Serenity, uh, and uh, it's yeah, it's been my. Uh, but my number one seller, uh, I was very, very appreciative to get that photo. So um, let's see. I'll give you my one of my favorites. Uh, this, this I want to put on the cover of my Barnes book. This is from North Dakota. Uh, so uh, just uh, if you haven't been in North Dakota, the prairie, you see these vast sunsets. And I'll show you something. So if you look here where I've got the cursor, yeah. Alan, that's relaxing is what we need to do. I tell you, there's not a lot of relaxing right now. Uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, the chairs are popular. The Adirondack chairs, you know, people have different versions of it. Um, you know, I just, I just, I like that one because it's like superior. But over here, so I want you to look where I'm, I'm doing this cursor. The sun is actually setting to the right of that. So the sun is setting um way out to the right there folks and i'm getting this much color in the sky drawing all the way back this is one of the most beautiful sunsets uh i have not seen the crucifix in the woods tammy um and i love big skies too voodoo uh but uh if you if you look over here so i'm actually looking south um oh i suppose they would use it all over in the adirondacks but this so you know, you can see again. So what I had to do with the face of this barn was paint exposure back in, even though it's exposed to the light because I have to keep it darker to expose for the sky. And so that's what you're con it's this constant battle of the light when you're getting dramatic photos uh, because you're underexposing one part to or overexposing one part. So, you know, that's how that works. But but I just, I just love this shot, and I totally want to put it on the front of my Barnes book. Um, I just love the color in the sky. I love everything about this. And we actually drove 80 miles an hour to get this photo, folks. I mean, we were breaking the speed limit. Smash that like if you would, please, if you haven't. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we had. Uh, I, I could see the sky lining up. You just kind of know. And... I'll tell you, man, I was so jacked to get to some barn on a ridge with Western exposure on the face of the barn. And we eventually found it, but we were driving 80 to get there. Uh, this one I really like just because this cow is just working for me. And all these other cows just looking in the background. They've got gorgeous morning light on them. Um, and uh, they're just, uh, yeah, it, it's, I, you know, when photography is a game of chasing the light. And when you can get that perfect light, there's not a lot you need to do. Uh, but uh, this is over at a, uh, a friend's place. Actually, I, I do, uh, I've done some videos for him, uh, Jason Hellstrom, Hellstrom Farms, and uh, he raises beef. So uh, there's that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I love this shot. Okay. So these are scops and, uh, yeah, I love cows too, Voodoo. They taste great. No, it's I, I, I we raise them too, and I, I do enjoy cows. Bovines are just great pictures, great creatures. So this is some scops. They're a uh, they're a diving duck. They're of the diver class. Um, and uh, this one I got. I was uh, when I was down in the blind with my daughter Sarah, and these came streaking by. They were a little further away than I wanted to, so I had to crop in to get this kind of composition but they just didn't get close enough to me. Uh, but it's very tack sharp. Um, I shot it with a two to 400 lens. Uh, so I had some reach and I shot it on a, a crop sensor camera. And if you're not familiar with that, there's full frame and then there's crop sensor. Crop sensor just uses a smaller piece of the lens. Um, oh, dairy cows, man, that is some work, Vanessa. That's some work. Um, so anyhow, but they're just beautiful. And if you, if you look right here, you can actually see the water droplets on them. 
right there. See that? They, they, all the water droplets and everything. It's just a pretty, pretty bird scops. So we've got them nesting here. And here, I'll give you another. This is uh, going back to the chairs. This is actually the same spot. The chairs had been moved and it was later in the evening. So when, you know, as the sunset goes later, typically it develops more color. And so that's what had happened here where before you have kind of mild color tones in the first one I showed you. Okay, now the clouds have all changed. And of course, everything is, you know, different, obviously. But, but uh, both of them do well. Um, you know, uh, is it Bondo 1988? You may have seen, I did share that photo on the community section once before. So you may have seen that particular uh, duck image. This is, I love this picture and I love the story behind it. This is Cascade Lake in the Gunflint region of Northern Minnesota. And it actually isn't quite perfect. And the picture, if you look at the trees, they're a little fuzzy. They're a little soft and focused from what they should be. And the reason is, is I had just gotten a new camera and I had to do an autofocus fine tune on it, but I didn't know that when I left. Uh, it was a it was a larger uh, megapixel camera, and they get kind of finicky, folks. And so there's what's called uh, autofocus fine tune. But I waited all day for this picture. I went up to the uh, to the Gunflint region of North Shore, Minnesota, and I, uh, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a good day for photography because it was supposed to be partly cloudy skies. Instead, it just rained on me all day. This is the only picture I got out of those words, anything. I mean, I, I took some other pictures. I mean, they look good, but they're not anything that sell. Um, yeah, Pop Ross, thanks. <laughs> yeah, more like a painting. Yeah, it, it's it's just gorgeous. It uh, The lake narrows, and, and one of the things that you look for in photography is you look for leading lines. And this has the leading lines that just pull you into the picture. Um, and... What happened was, I'm again, this is an 80 mile an hour drive down a gravel road, but I uh, I love Bob Ross too, Buddha. He's just so he's so good. He's just always happy and he makes things simple for people. And I think so many people try to mystify what they do and to keep it away from other people. And uh, they need to, uh, um, I'm not familiar with Bill Linder's work. I know Al. I've met Al because he's, he actually has written about both my books there. And I used to watch them when I was a kid. Yeah, the happy little trees. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the happy trees. But he demystifies things and he shows people that they can do it. And that's part of my whole thing with the Fearless Photography Guys channel is I just want to show people that if they want to, they can do it. They can do it. You, you folks can do whatever you want to do, Okay. Um, and you know, so much of life, people try to complicate it because they want to hold their position. Okay. Um, but you know, people are too worried about holding onto their position and, and, and it's silliness, it's silliness. But so what happened was I, as the day went on and it's raining all the time, well, finally towards evening, I see it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> I mean, it could happen. So I had been to this lake earlier in the day, Cascade Lake, and I'm just, I'm so jacked up about it. I get going. I'm like, I just jump in the car and I just been taking some pictures of a creek and I'd seen this. So I jump in the car 80 miles an hour because I know I'm going to lose the light if I don't get there right away. And I get there and I waited out in the water and brought my, brought my, uh, um, tripod because this is right off the water. So my lens is sitting this far off the water. Okay. So I just put the tripod in the lake and I got to wait for all the water to calm down. Um, and then, you know, get the shot and you take a series of photos and then you, you pick the one that, you know, exposure worked out best on that gives you the most flexibility from a, from an editing standpoint. Because still, like, even if you look at these right here, I could see those trees better in natural light. 
in the shadows than I could even even after editing it. And so I'm trying to get it back to what my eye can see, but I'm still not even quite there. But if you brighten things too much in the shadows, then you get grain and it looks tacky. So, but I, I felt it. The edit turned out all right. And even though the things weren't perfectly in focus, it actually made it look more like a painting. So I ended up liking it. And apparently people like it because it is one of my best-selling photos. But I'm going to show you just a kick butt shot now. Okay, check this out. I sell this. Well, the last one I sell on triptychs. That's those three panel pieces, big, large triptychs. And people want a big show piece. Well, this is on Lake Superior. I love the water spill on the rocks. It was one of those, I was so excited about this picture, folks, that I downloaded my memory cards and backed them up before I even got home. And it's only, you know, whatever, a three-hour drive from this spot to my place. But I was so jacked about it. I knew I had a winner. And right now, I would say this is probably the best-selling shot in my booth. Well, the next one's really good, too. But the uh, this is, it's dramatic. It was one of those things that... Uh, um, um, you can order copies of that here. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, put this up. Can I order copies of that? So here's the thing. Uh, anybody, if you want any of these photos, um, the canvas prices, I'll just give you this. I, I sell them on canvas. The a 20 by 30 canvas is two twenty five. A 24 by 36, which is my most popular size is a uh, 20, 24 by 36. So two feet by three feet. That is 325, and then uh, I can I can do these large. I actually this this one I can do really big. I could actually print this thing. I know it sounds crazy, but the camera is so big I could print this 10 feet wide. Um, and uh, so you know I, I sell it to doctors' offices and that type of thing. If you want to order any of these, folks, you're going to have to go. You're just going to have to send me an email. Um, and it's uh, Neil of the Northwoods at gmail.com. Neil of the Northwoods at gmail.com. And I'll put that in here for you. Uh, thanks for asking. And uh, yeah, if there's something you want, and then we'll figure it out. I do not have a, I know people say, you know, you need a website and everything. I'll be honest, I, I, uh, um, I had never wanted to do a website. And the reason is, is because I was typically just doing shows on the weekends and I kind of like that. Um, but um, yeah. Um, so <laughs> that's, you guys make me laugh. I just saw the comment stream. All right. Okay. You people are great. Thank you. It's like code talk. Anyways. Um, yeah, I, I will get a website. It's uh, everything takes effort. And then I'm trying to get out other content. Uh, yeah, Terry Redlin, I never met him, but, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, my gosh, seeing these comments come in. Okay, I got to get back to it. Okay, so this is another prime example. If you look here on this, this was totally dark. You couldn't see this green, so I had to paint that back in so it was like my eye saw it. Uh, because the sun is coming in over here, and this was all in shadow. But, um, yeah, I know I am busy, but I, those are things that I, I've got to get done. Probably just need to pay somebody to build a website. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Then it's, uh, you know, what's the return and uh, whatnot. So I, I just try and figure that all out. I, I wasn't doing a website because I liked art shows so much. And then what happened, uh, send a pic, the chick is in the mail. Um, but then, cause then with the art shows, then it was like, I couldn't, they weren't just like, Oh, here's a card. And then they never buy from me. They would just buy it right there. Um, so, um, anyhow, thanks, Melissa. I, there's things I'm probably not good at too. So, um, this is uh Tedaguch State Park in Minnesota. This is another one of the most popular photos. Check this out. This is kind of cool. This this right here, this rock spire, is no longer there. So, oh man, let me oh gosh, folks. I have got to show you a picture because I can show you why that rock spire is no longer there. Um, if I can show you this picture. Oh shoot. 
Okay, here, it's going to be... Mm, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? I got to show you guys this picture because I actually... Um, you guys will be just amazed at this. This is this is wild. It's gonna be small, but whatever. It 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 is what it is. Here, I'll get it for you. But I can totally show you why that is no longer there. Because I can show you the event because I was at it, and it was absolutely wild, wild. Okay, so here I'm I'm getting these pictures, and I'll show you why that rock spire is no longer there. It's insane. When you see this storm, people are going to be amazed. I think I shared this on the community section. That was a while ago, probably before some of you were subscribers. Um, I got to wait till that comes up. Okay, so, but let's go back to the picture itself. Okay, so this, uh, the, my kids are, are tussling back there. I hear them. Uh, let's see. The picture disappeared. Why did that leave my computer now? Okay, anyways, I'll just talk about this and I'll show you the other one. Uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I got it. It's gonna, I can airdrop it now. Some reason my computer wasn't recognizing my phone. Okay. And all right. Oh, these aren't that small. This is perfect. Okay, so the rock spire, which you see, okay, that's no longer there because it's taken down by the waste. Before the rock spire went down, there actually used to be a land bridge joining that, that little rock spire to that main peninsula. So there was a land bridge you could walk across. And now it isn't there anymore. And I've gone out and shot Milky Way photos on that, that narrow peninsula. It's like narrow, folks. And you're, you're kind of braving the ice and everything. Um, and uh, no, it wasn't ice, Charles. I'll show you. But uh, the uh, you so now I just go out there I God, there's like it's always full of ice when I'm trying to take Milky Way pictures in the early spring or late winter when the Milky Way st uh, core starts showing out. So uh, anyhow, uh, it it, oh, it it was fairly tall. That's a great question. I would say maybe thirty feet, probably about thirty feet tall. Okay, but here I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sharing this one, and now I'm going to share. Let's see. Let's hold on. Why is it not jumping? Come on. Allow. Okay. Um, here we go. Check this out. This will blow your mind. That's why it's no longer there, folks. Yes, Doug, you can. Um, shoot me an email. Tell me what size you want. Uh, oh no, that's an old comment. I'm sorry. How tall was it? Uh, there, like Samantha. If yeah, we were just talking. Some some folks wanted to order, so I got I I've got my uh, Neil of the North Woods at gmail.com. If you want to order a picture, this though this here, check this out. This is why that rock spire is gone. This was the storm, folks. This is. It's outstanding. Here, I'll show you another picture from it. Now, these cliffs, this is the crystal cliffs. These are full-size trees. Hold on, I'm going to get here. Okay, so these are these are full-size trees up here, folks. Look, that's a white pine over there. Do you see that? I mean, I just want you to catch this. These are big trees. These are big cliffs. Okay, this is no small thing. And this, this storm just totally wiped that rock spire out. I see a bunch of folks are jumping on right now. Um, so thanks for smashing that like folks, please smash that like so this gets out I'm trying to build this channel anyways, whatever. Um, but I'm trying to, I want to show you guys who just jumped on and see if I can, uh, uh, how does this work? Ah, let's see. Um, well here, I guess I can't, I can't have it like that. So I'm going to have to do this. I just want you to look at this just a little bit longer. Look at the water spill here off of these cliffs. The swells are so big. I'm down on the shoreline there. Water running over my boots. It was nuts, okay? Um, and, and then look at this one. I mean, just look at that. Poof, it hits those cliffs. It's just, it was loud, people. It was loud, okay? Loud, loud. I'm telling you, it was loud. And uh, that, that storm 
was absolutely amazing. And uh, and then, folks, since there's all these uh, uh, folks uh, jumping on, uh, uh, yeah, thanks for all the comments. It does make you feel alive. I'll put that up, man, because that's so true. Uh, danger, uh, yeah, makes you feel alive. There's an element to that that we need in our lives. Okay, now let me go back. For those that just jumped on, I'm going to show you what we were just talking about. Um, and... Exquisite Tedaguch. Okay, so this, this right here, that storm took out the rock spire off the point in this picture. Just took it right down. It was amazing. Anyways, so it's it gets crazy on Lake Superior. It's pretty wild. Okay, so now, but now I'm gonna move off of this, and we're gonna show you. Um, Another, uh, I'll show you another, uh, let's see. Okay, here's a couple more pictures. So I'm going to try this on Canvas for the first time. Give me your thoughts on this. How do you think this one will do? It's North Dakota, so I thought, well, Barnes will probably go over well. Uh, it's got a prairie uh, scene to it. Um, yeah, oh, gosh, I love your folks' comments. Um yeah, if you want any of the books, you can go to nljbooks.com. You can send me an email at, I'll put it down, Neil of the North Woods at gmail.com if you want to order any photos. And I'll just I'll just work with you individually, folks. I can send you some uh, thumbnails and then we can work that out. Um, so thank you for asking about that. Uh, and uh, you guys are the best. So there you go. Please smash that like if you just jumped on, please. Uh, and uh, and share it if you know anybody else who likes this stuff. So I, I kind of like this barn, but I just don't know. I, I just... Uh, um... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that was a funny video. Folks, if you haven't seen, I got a video on uh, the Fearless Photography Guys channel about Michael Fugit's talking about don't get me shot and everything. Um, but uh, uh, it's too bright. Okay, interesting. So, um, you know, and then I've got Surreal. So, you know, it's interesting. I I, uh, I don't know. This has got kind of this exquisite light, which I like to it. It's really just kind of wild, exquisite light. So I kind of like that. Um, yeah, so, I mean, everybody likes different things. That's the thing um the angle okay interesting um it looks like it's just the front which it is yeah my favorite uh so you know it's interesting yeah it uh so my my favorite is going back to that north dakota barn uh but and i'll show that one more time but let's move on here this one is a uh, real oh shoot i'm clicking the wrong thing um Let's see. Reminds you back home. See, everybody, the thing about this stuff is it communicates different things to different people. Um, you know, it's, that's what I find. So, you know, like I actually, this is what's wild. That barn, I ran into the family that used to own that property by having that barn. I had it on a trivet. I put it on a trivet. Um Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Pick KG. Um, and uh, anyways, the uh, um, I'm just trying to catch up on the comments here. But the the people who own that bar now, uh, you know, I, they were nice to me. Unlike that on that Fearless Photography Guys channel, don't don't get me shot. Um, this. Uh, and I like the thing I like about the North Dakota barn too, is it's more weathered. It, it's a little rougher. And I like that in a barn. This one was really well, well kept up obviously, but the, um, um, cause it is rocks, <laughs> but, but that, uh, here, let me go. I'll, I'll go back to the barn, but this, this barn, actually the people who, um, had their uncle had built this barn. And they ran into me at a show in Alexandria, Minnesota, 
And then they were able to get a memento of that barn. And it's so funny because they were both their uncles, because I've got a picture of the barn across the road, because it was just this gorgeous light, just this light that was so amazing uh, that I just wanted to capture. Uh, and uh, it was just so exquisite. And uh, so anyhow, that's why I named the picture ex exquisite. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I, it was cool to be able to connect with those folks because they were like, where did you take that picture? I said, Elbow Lake, Minnesota. They're like, that's my uncle's barn and everything. It was really cool. So those things are neat. Okay, I'm going to go on to this one. This is, this is interestingly enough, rocks. I'm going to... Um, um, so that one was from Minnesota. The one from North Dakota was out by like Lair. I'm going to pull this banner down. You guys all seen it. Please hit, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't and, and smash the like. But um, what I, this one works really well as three panels. So I've got a line here and then over here. And then everything leads you into this subject rock here because the water all flows towards it. It's really a neat piece of art. I've sold it quite a few times, but it's it's rocks on the shores of Lake Superior at Sugarloaf Cove uh, is, is what that is. So um, anyhow, hey, bye, Alan. Thanks for joining us. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, so that, that rock picture, it's just, it's very artsy. Yeah, it's kind of like artsy photos to like that one. Okay, now I'm going to... Um, open up. Okay. That, so that's out of the stream, but that's, I just wanted to, I don't know. I miss you guys be perfectly frank. And, uh, uh, I love your comments. I love your wit. And, uh, so I wanted to do this stream. I knew it wouldn't be as popular as some of the other things that I do, uh, just because of the crowd that, uh, but it is, it's very near and dear to my heart. I love photography and uh, it's also how I make my living. So <laughs> it's still, still to this day because uh, um, yeah, especially it's really tough to uh, um, I guess build a channel when you're, you know, like my big one, when you're just not sure when you're going to get the ax. I mean, I'd love, there's all kinds of things I'd love to do with it. Uh, but what do you do? So uh, this is uh you know, it's tough to invest a lot into something that you just, you don't know where it's going to go. So, um, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, not to uh, belabor the point. Uh, oh, bad storms, huh? Um, this, folks, here, I'll, I'll hit the stop sharing. And then for those that, um, let's see, I'm going to get this and for those that joined late and did not see because we were talking about this north dakota barn i want to share that with them quick okay and and we're gonna allow all right there it is so there's the north dakota barn and again this is this is my favorite barn picture i have right now but uh you know everybody likes different things i mean this, this is a great barn picture too I, I like red though. It's kind of my favorite color. So, uh, you know, that, uh, that's, uh, I guess why I like this one so much. Uh, but this is just very pretty. It's very, it just, it feels farm like, okay. It's really, it's really kind of cool. Um, and then, uh, I'll just, I'll just rifle through these quick again. So people who got on late can see them. Um, so there you go, Samantha, 1776. This is for you. Um, first two are from the Boundary Waters. This is from Lake Superior, um, Meadowlands, Minnesota, around Lair, North Dakota. This is like uh, Hibbing, Minnesota. The scops are from the Beaver Pond on my property. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That that barn's so clean because they I don't think they farm there anymore. <laughs> they just keep the barn up. Anyways, this is uh this is uh um the chairs. This is Lake Superior, but this was taken later in the night. Same, same uh uh same chairs. This is uh the Gunflint region of Minnesota. And this is Lake Superior, uh one of my absolute best sellers. These last two are 
Um, I was really excited this morning to get this, and I had actually I was running three cameras, uh, just trying to, or was it just two? Two. I had one set up on a tripod at the back, capturing some different angles and everything, because it was just so amazing. I could see it developing, and uh, I just, uh, I just loved it. And then this, which is just a cool light break through the rock spire, which is no longer there at Tedaguch State Park in Minnesota. So if you haven't ever been to Minnesota's North Shore, it's worth seeing. Just be warned uh, that uh, um, it's um, – which one, Voodoo? Which one is it? Uh, um, or No, wait, Doug. Uh, sorry, Voodoo's coming. Just came up. Which one is it that you like so much, Doug? Um, so – was it was it was it this one here? So maybe it's that one, and uh, or was it this one, or that one? So, anyways, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I love doing it. Again, I'm going to be in Grand Forks, North Dakota, this weekend. If you're around, it's Art on the Red. Um. I will live stream from there on my Fearless Photography Guys channel because uh, I thought that was a lot of fun selling to people in the booth and live streaming that interaction. Um, because, again, I want to encourage people to, you know, if they if they like art and that's what they want to do, then you can make a living uh, doing art shows. You really can. People talk about starving uh, artists. But, uh, yeah, well, just shoot me an email, Neil of the North Woods at gmail.com and uh folks if you haven't uh if uh, please go subscribe to me on locals um yeah just uh please do that and uh that's uh, uh no not neil the north what's cow darn i totally did this wrong here uh Neil of the Northwoods at gmail.com. I'm sorry. Northwoods at gmail.com. There we go. There's the email, folks. So anyways, uh, again, folks, I want to thank you for, for joining me. Um, I'm in Grand Forks, North Dakota, then Aberdeen, South Dakota, then Longville, Minnesota, um the following month july is always busy but i'll be in bemidji minnesota detroit lakes and park rapids and somewhere else in south dakota uh oof, i can't remember right now um brookings south dakota uh i'll be out there and then in august i spent some time in wisconsin in northeast wisconsin for loon day after loon up in northeast if you have northeast wisconsin's gorgeous so I'm all, I'm kind of all over the place running around hawking my wares. So anyways, uh, again, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, send me an email if you, uh, want to order some stuff on canvas and we'll, uh, we'll see you down the road. Love y'all.